My name is Derek Hellinger, and I have a PhD in physics, and I'm going to explain what arrows mean in science equations. So usually when you have an equation, for example in physics, you have one of two quantities in the equation. You might have a vector, or you might have a scalar. A vector is just anything that has both a magnitude and also a direction. And a scalar is anything that just has a magnitude. So for example, here's an equation where you might see an arrow. It's a Newton's second law, and it looks like this. F equals m a. And you notice that the F and the A both have arrows over them. That means that they are vector quantities. So force, for example, F stands for force and A stands for acceleration. Force, you can, you can push on something with a certain amount of force. That's its magnitude. But you also can choose which direction you're pushing. You know, you can push this way or you can push this way or that way. So a force has both a magnitude and a direction. So it's a vector and it's written with an arrow. Mass, on the other hand, it just has a magnitude. For example, maybe something has a mass of 50 kilograms. That's its magnitude. But it doesn't really make sense to say that it's, it's 50 kilograms in a certain direction. It's just 50 kilograms. It just sits there. It just doesn't have any direction associated with it. So when we write it in a physics equation, we don't include an arrow. So that's what the arrows are for. They explain objects that have magnitude and direction.